Hi there. For those of you that want to access the um, prep question course, I'm just going to show you how to quickly do it. Uh, just go to Sunco School of Real Estate. Down here, you'll see the exam prep course and materials. Just click here to go to the prep course. And you'll uh, go here to log in. So you can click log in, it's the same thing. Uh, what um, you type in here, the username or the email address and the password that I gave you in the email. Okay, it's not the Florida course notes password. This is a different one, it gives you all the questions. All right, so I'm just going to sign in there. And this is how you access the course. The course is the question, um, uh, what is it? The Associate Drill and Question Bank version 8. You've got the choice. You can do a random uh, 50 question quiz. You can simulate a full 100 question quiz. Well, you don't need to be doing that until you've completed a course. So these are ideal for getting up to speed when you are uh, preparing for the state test. But for my particular classes, what you need to do is go into here and make yourself your own quizzes. All right. So if we expand all of these various areas here, we can see that we have uh, about 500 questions, 489 questions, which covers virtually everything there is in this book many times. There's about 146 subject areas where they ask you questions on, you know, so um, th there's a huge amount of questions they can ask you. And all of these are based on what you'll get on the state exam. Some of the chapters, you know, like um, uh, chapter five, brokerage activities, have got more questions than others. The lighter chapters, real estate market and analysis, uh, you only get one or two questions on the state exam there. Uh, we've only got seven. So uh, this is each of the units that you're covering. For some reason, they've got the f unit one down here. So I'm just going to click on unit one and say, well, I've just done unit one. I've answered the questions in the back of the book, which were about 10 or 15, I forget. And now we go and answer more questions. So I'm just going to go unit one. At the top here, I want you to put your name in or however you want to do it. And I'm just going to put in unit one there, for instance. OK. And then I'm going to save that quiz or I can launch the quiz. I beg your pardon. Uh, there was something down here I needed to do. And that was uh, oh, a maximum of 10. So just put in the 10. Uh, sometimes if you're um, selecting a lot of chapters, you can put a lot of questions in there. So there we go, 10. I can show the score as I go if I want. I can also show the answer explanations as I go if I want. Launch, uh, save quiz. And then you'll see it comes up here, fill unit one. I can delete this, I can edit it, I can make a copy and I can start. So if I go and start, this is where I am. I'm just going to answer these questions very quickly. I'm not going to um, actually look at the answers, or the, I'm just going to put C for every single one. And we just click the last one there, and next. And then if I'm ready, um, I have no idea what happened, and I'm ready, then we submit. And submit for grading, I have no idea. I got 40% just by clicking C. Um, so this is my end result and i can go and look at any of these and review the questions and see why they're wrong this was the correct answer here all right so that's where we are with actually checking my knowledge now if we go back to the dashboard and say well i want to take that exam again so basically what you have to do is start over now it doesn't allow you to start over here so what i'm going to do is make a copy of that exam and then we're going to start again and then we can do it correctly this time now, if I don't do that next time, let's just go through, submit incomplete, and away we go. But you'll see here that I do have the copy. All right. So let's just take those away. And that way we can actually go through these one by one by one. When you have this um, purchased by yourself and not sharing with others, you can actually go to the performance tracker. And the performance tracker will actually show you... Um, uh, the percentage of questions you've done and the percentage of questions you've got right. When both those equal 100%, you're ready to take the exam. Trust me, you are ready to take the exam. So this is just an opportunity for you to have extra questions um, by using this. You're most welcome to use it as much as you like uh, for as long as uh, you need to study for your exam. 
This is, I think, by far the best way to do it. There is a book which does the equivalent uh, with uh, four or five hundred questions in. I think this is an excellent way of doing it because it keeps track of what you've done and what you haven't done.